hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to update your system to the latest windows 11 25 s2 so 25 s2 is general now and available for all the users so how to check that first click on here settings then you need to click on settings and click on windows update and also you need to type here winver like this and you can see your windows version I have 24 s2 right now so whichever version you have right now I can show you how to upgrade it to latest 25 s2 so just click on windows update and click on here check for update and see if you are able to get this windows 11 25 s2 or not I got it but I will show you how to how you can also get it if this option is not working for you guys I mean the check for update and download is not available for you 25s2 so the option is for you to install the latest ISO file from the Microsoft but before that you need to check your install language on your computer just to open the CMD as admin and hit this command and you need to look for default language UEI language English US I have and also to reconfirm that this is the power PowerShell command I will give these command into a description box or you can manually type these press enter key now we need to install the same ISO file in order to get the 25s2 windows on your laptop or system so I need to choose the English United States ISO file and if you have another language is showing up here interne in English International and other so I will show you also that on the search you need to type for download Windows 11 ISO and go to first link scroll down and until you see this option and you need to click on multi edition then click on confirm now this is the select product language this is the most important setting so select here accordingly so suppose that I have United States if anything is showing up for you according to your country and other things just select that accordingly I have to select the United States since that is showing up here in the command prompt and click on confirm okay now once you see this screen again you need to show 64 bit so I have just downloaded it just you need to give the location and simply download it save it so I'm pausing it for now I will show you the next method now once installation is completed go to the downloaded option here is latest one you need to right click on it okay right click on it and simply you need to mount it click on mount once you mount it the benefit of choosing correct ISO is you should able to get all your data and there will be no loss of your data and all the software will be installed as it is on your computer if you have chosen the wrong ISO you may have to lose the programs or the data so make sure you choose the correct ISO file according to your install language and just wait here now click on open and you can see D drive is showing up here right click on it and you can open it once you open it setup.exe should be showing up here you need to right click on it and simply run it as admin now we have to wait here until you see the downloading option just wait you can see so if it is tick 
like this untick this option change how the setup is download just click on that option download update travel and optional feature that is recommended so yeah that is up to you click on next option if you are using laptop it's recommended to plug in the laptop with a charger like this now you should be able to see this option we are getting a few things ready just wait checking for your PC and make sure also your C drive should be free up at least 50 to 60 GB at least now you have to accept it now this is very important what need to keep if I have chosen the correct ISO this option should be coming up maybe making sure you are ready to install otherwise you will see three options keep personal files remove everything and third one is keep apps and data so you have to select that option keep apps and data but in my windows the option is not showing up since that is identified that ISO file is correct with this and it is matching up so I got some block from the Microsoft you can see option keep files and apps I was talking about this option you need to make sure that this option is ticked this option will make sure that all the data and personal files and install application or software remain same as it is on your windows and keep personal files will only keep your data but nothing you know that everything will be deleted so if you have chosen the correct ISO this option should be coming up for you keep personal files and apps now it has been done after waiting for one hours and you can see keep personal files and app is showing up here first option so make sure you have this option otherwise choose the different ISO on your windows so once this is done you need to click on next and then you need to click on install button and you need to wait for some time and your window will be installed to latest windows 24, 25 s2 now i have restarted the laptop and let me show you now winbar see and I hope guys you have also got 25 s2 after updating and after following these methods I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching